What up, world? It's your boy, Mr. Jones, the general, Flame House Records CEO. And I'm live here on the Checker Stool. Already, already. Let me ask you this question, man. Yes, sir. What first got you into the music, man? Into your producing, into your. Oh, what man. Going on? Basically, uh, back in 2003, uh, my brother Peace Train, you know, he had uh, got into some trouble. And, uh, you know, my whole family, we looked at him like, he the one who uh, take us up out of here. You know, we still feel like that. So explain to me what your brother was doing. Well, he, had got, he got in some legal situation, man, and he, he got, you know, he got a stiff sentence. He ended up doing 15 years straight. But in 03, I told him, I said, bro, you come home, I'm going to be the hottest producer in the world. And so I just put that in my mind. I, I, I'm one of the people that... I feel like if you put it out in the universe and you, and you really feel it and you believe it, it happens. We talked about it on the phone the other day and we laughed, right? But the laughter was like, damn, why you, you said that shit? Right, right. And so now, what's happening now, 18 years later, that's my overnight, 18 years. You know what I'm saying? So everything that's happening for me, it's overnight, but it, my, my overnight is an 18, 18 year process. Yes, sir. Let me ask you this. How would you describe the music that you created, man? You had to put a name on it, like, you know how some people got the swag? Yeah, I, I, call, I would say ghetto gospel. Ghetto gospel. And I would say that because uh, I'm big on irritating the emotion. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be uh, something sad or happy. You know, the emotion is emotion, whether up or down. So I love to irritate those uh, uh, the emotions of people with sound. Right. You know, because that's what moves people sound. So I would describe my sound as being ghetto gospel and, and definitely authentic. Uh, really, that's what's up right there. Yes, sir. So uh, what is your creative process like, man? So my creative process typically, like, and that's one thing that held me back. So if you're one of these people who feel like I got to be in the room by myself and I got to be alone for this to happen, you know, you're closing yourself out. Don't don't talk yourself out of it. Get around people. Being around people and hearing ideas and being creative collectively is what makes you better. That's the only reason I'm getting better. My work ethic and the people around me that I work with. I just love working with people. So stay consistent and work with people. Don't tell yourself, don't don't allow your creative process to be just boxed in. You know what I mean? If you do that, that's fine, but still try to work with people and, and, and see what you can get out of that because it's about vibes. Now, I know... I gotta ask you this question, man. I want you to give me an answer from a producer stand, mm -hmm. and I want you to give me an answer from the artist stand. Also. Okay. Who would you like to collaborate with now? Um, for me, collaborations are are open. I mean, in particular. I wouldn't say anybody in particular because I want to work with everybody. I'm, right. I'm that guy who want to venture and work with everybody. So they go for both the produ producer and the artistry? Artistry and, and pr production. Because like I said, it goes back to what we were just saying. It's about working with people. That's what's going to make you better. You know what I mean? Everything is not competition, but it's competition. Right. But to get better... You can't do nothing but respect, respect that. Yourself, right, right. But don't so, be afraid to work with such and such is because he rap what you rap, but come on and work with him. Two is always better than one. What message would you give to the up and coming producers and artists coming up right now? What message would you give them? Stay true to yourself. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Also, Invest in yourself. Most importantly, when you invest in yourself, when you're at these studio sessions, invest in yourself and your pain within that session. Take a hard drive with you. Always lead with your session. Always lead with your session, man. That, that allows you to manipulate the mix if necessary, if need be. But you have it. You know, that way if you have an issue with the beat, you can't get it you know, signed over to you, you still got your vocals, you can build you another beat, but you got good vocals and you 
got something for somebody to work with and it makes it so much better. And it'll allow your relationship with that producer to be strong versus y'all having an issue and you being somewhere now you need those stems and it's like, shit bro, you ain't even hit me up. What, I'm not, what I need to say you need for? That's how some people think, not me. So, but just to eliminate that, take your drive with you man, and leave that session with your entire session file. So that's my advice. And stay true to yourself. Okay. Now for the reverse the question. Okay. What game or information have someone given you that you still carry to this day? Uh, you know, man, I've, I've, questions like that, I, I always think they gonna be tough to answer, especially on camera, man, but it, it just dawned on me that the advice that I got from multiple people was that they knew I was ordained by God in some sense. And they said, boy, all you got to do is keep going. So I got that advice from tons of people. And I, I appreciate all the encouraging people that I've come across. You know what I mean? I always try to, you know, in some way or form or fashion, preach positivity and, hey, forgive. Let's move on. Let's, let's get it. You know what I mean? So... I, I, I salute everybody, man, who, who, along my life, along the way, to say, you're going to be somebody. You know, it was people who, who thought I wasn't, but for the most part, people know, well, you're going to be somebody. Yes, sir. This is, this is like, uh, this is, I'm going to call this a bonus, a bonus check the stool question right Okay, here, okay. I can handle it. <laughs> If you could change anything about the industry, what would it be? Mmm. Mmm. Uh, the knowledge. Right. The lack of knowledge being dispersed by peers. Right. You know what I mean? I feel like that's why the game's so treacherous, man, because the lack of knowledge, the knowledge ain't being shared on really how to do this. That goes way back to the beginning where I say pass the torch. You know, what's ordained for you by God, it don't matter, you gonna have that. So passing the torch and, and giving someone game, even if they turn their back on you and run off with the game. It don't matter, man. You know what you did, you know what trend you set, you know what you've done, and you ain't do it, for them to glorify you, I, hopefully it was of the kindness of your heart and you want to help someone else create generational wealth. Because see, that's where the gap got to get closed at. Within the black community, we got to close that gap, that wealth gap. And the only way to bridge that gap is the ones who have the knowledge, share it. The worst thing can happen, they can run off with it and share it with somebody else. And the same thing going to happen to them. But before you know it, uh, it, it, it spread it throughout the black community, right? And that creates generational wealth. That's why I'm working hard, man. I know I probably won't, you know, I'm not even going to speak that. I'm going to enjoy this shit. We're going to enjoy this shit. I'm speaking everything into the existing positivity, but I want my grandkids' grandkids to be straight. You know, Walmart, good. whoever owned that, that family, they good forever. That's what Flame House is trying to accomplish. Generational wealth, not a one hit wonder. If I could create hits for everybody, that's what I do. But you got to be budget ready, you got to feel the same way about it as I do being passionate and ready to invest in yourself because nothing is free. Let's right. believe it. So, tell me this what's next for Jones General in Flame House, man? Know, man. So what's, what's next, man? I need y'all to stay tuned, man. We coming with the um, Hump Day Music Review. You know, it be tough getting through the week. You know, not only will we uh, play music, uh, you get your music played, you know, it's going to be a reward. The hardest song that day, you know, will get you a beat. If you ain't in this specific place, you go record it, send it to me. I mix it mastered. If you hear where I'm at, we're going to get you here. We're going to make a motherfucking banger. And that's what it's about. Spread in the well, man. It's enough for everybody. Just keep working. Don't stop. Yes, sir. But other than that, uh, the music review, I got a lot of music coming, man. My, uh, my boy TSK got something coming. My boy uh, Stax got an OG album coming. I uh, got music coming with Kiki and Yaya. 
got something with Dre and the Coles. I got something with KOS. I got something with the Crispy Boys. Man, I can keep going, man. I, you know, I got stuff with uh, the boy Luke Kane. I got stuff with, you know, I can keep going. But it's about who I ain't got one with. That's what. I, that's how I look at it. Who I ain't got one with. Is it you? Hey man, pick up that phone, hit my DM, let's talk. Like I said, be budget ready. Budget ready means, hey, I'm not putting a big price out there. What do you have? Right. Let's, let's work. Right. Help me understand, you know, but. Make make right. But make finessing, make finessing ain't gonna get you. Right. I've been there and done that, got the shirt to prove it. Mm -hmm. Just, just, let's be real with it. Right. Go ahead and uh, let the people know how to get in touch with you, man. Get them all your social media. Yes, sir. Give a shout out to these people, man. Yes, sir. So. Follow me on Facebook at Mr. Jones the General. Mr. M I S T A Jones the General. The General. D A hyphen G E N E R A L. You can follow me on Instagram at Jones underscore the General. Like I said, you can follow me on Instagram, Jones underscore the General. Uh, Twitter, the same thing, Jones the General. Uh, if you like my music or if you want to discover my music, I'm on all platforms. I dropped the album. Uh, my last birthday, which was April 17th, uh, it's called Never Mind Me, so you can go stream that album. I also got my uh, single that I've been pushing for the last eight months, which is called Hefe, Big Ball Shit, they call it me Hefe. Uh, we got the Follow the Drip Challenge, tomorrow's the last day for that. Uh, I want to give a big shout out, number one, first and foremost, to Pop Up TV, man, you know what I mean? I met him at a, uh, an event before, and I just felt like the chemistry was there, and you know, that's what it was about for me. I move off of energy, so big shout out to Pop Up TV and the Check the Stool. I want to give a shout out to Bad and Bougie. I want to give a shout out to Merciful Music. I want to give a shout out to The La Familia. I want to give a shout out to FSL. I want to give a shout out to Studio 56. I want to give a shout out to Urban Politician TV. I want to give a shout out to everybody that fuck with me, man. Shout out to TSK, man. Shout out to all the people who fuck with me. It's a family affair. Shout out to all my kids. Shout out to my motherfucking family. Shout out to all my people back in the AUG. Y'all know what it is. Hey, it's your boy, Mr. Jones, the general. If you ain't get a shout out, man, it's just, I probably just ain't remember. But I love everybody, man. If I ain't shoot you out, man, I'm gonna shoot you out. Shout out Dre and Nicole. Shout out Kiki Yaya. Shout out Mercedes. You know what I'm saying? That's my motherfucking baby. You know what I'm saying? Once again, shout out to Pop Up TV. Hey, y'all stay motherfucking tuned, man. It's your boy, Mr. Jones. And we ain't slowing down, so, you know, temper, temper. Y'all hold them tempers in check. Hold them tempers in check. We moving up to get a check. It's your boy, Mr. Jones, man. Pop Up TV. And guess what? You know Jones made that beat, right? Man, y'all go check out Kings of Sound. I ain't gonna play with you. Go check out the Crispy Boys. I ain't gonna play with you. Y'all heard what I said. I could keep going on and on and on and on. That's what it is.